Hello, Options Traders. Welcome, everyone. In this video, I wanted to talk about an important sensitivity measure for your option that is one that a lot of people actually are unaware of. But I think most people know that there are different ways of measuring an option sensitivity, namely through the Greeks, delta, gamma, theta, vega, rho. But there are others, and one very important one is elasticity. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't know what it is or how to calculate it. So let's take a look at an options elasticity. An options elasticity measures by how much your options price will move in percentage terms for a 1% change in the stock's price. You might be thinking, hey, this sounds an awful lot like Delta that I've talked about in previous classes. And it's similar, but Delta shows the sensitivity of your options price for a given change in the stock's price. In other words, Delta measures the dollar change. Elasticity, on the other hand, measures the percentage change. So how do we calculate it? Well, calculation is actually pretty simple. You're going to take the stock price, you will multiply that times the delta, and you will divide that number by the options price, and that gives you the elasticity. So for example, let's say that the stock is trading for 100, you've got a delta of 0.7, and your call option is trading for $10. Elasticity, very simple, $100 stock times the delta of 0.7. And again, all of this is given to you on your broker's platform. We divide that by the call price of 10, and that equals 7. So what does that mean? What it means is that for a 1% change in the stock, or at least a very small percent change in the stock, the options price is going to change by about 7 times that. So for a 1% change in the stock, you would expect that options price to change by about 7%. Let's do a check and see if it works out. If you have a $100 stock and it rises 1%, that means the stock is now trading at 101. But if your delta is 0.7, then your $100 call is going to rise 70% of that dollar change or 70 cents. Now just ask yourself, how big is 70 cents relative to your $10 options price? 70 cents divided by $10 is 7%. So take a look at the numbers. The stock rises 1%, but your options price rose seven times that, or by 7%. Obviously, if the stock price fell 1%, then your options price would fall by about 7%. Keep in mind, you cannot scale this out forever and say, what if the stock's price rises 5 or 10 or 15%? Why? Because your delta is going to change because of gamma. But for a very small percentage move in the stock, the elasticity will tell you by how much your options price will rise or fall in percentage terms. So how can you benefit by knowing an options elasticity? Well, knowing your options elasticity shows how volatile the position can be. And yes, there are other ways, but it just gives you a little different look. Also, from a risk perspective, percentages are usually the most important. What's more important, that the stock price fell by 3 or $4, or that your portfolio fell by 7% of that amount, or 20% of that amount? We'd like to know how sensitive we are in percentage terms, and elasticity will show you that. And finally, elasticity is an important calculation that is used for beta weighting a portfolio. So what is that, and how is that done? Well, we'll talk about that in the next video. If you'd like to learn more about the art and science of options trading, please check out the Alpha Trader course and Strategy Lab at optionsa-z.com. Also, please join us on the Facebook trading group, Options A to Z, and you can find a link in the description below.